interesting points. So I'm really ready for Hello. Okay, great. So this is. Uh, <clears throat> I mostly work on uh, hardware spaces and open hardware and collaborative production. Uh, but uh, this one is uh, from another uh, article which is mainly investigating uh, how hackers not only use new technologies and, and uh, at the beginning of uh, every innovation in the tech scene, but uh, also they use all the technologies in order to resist the bad social consequences of some, uh, uh, some new technologies that are introduced. So, at least uh, sociologists, when they write about hackers, they always write about hackers as uh, the masters who uh, adopt all the new technologies that come out. So I had this idea to write about how hackers don't adopt some new technologies that come out, because they think that they have bad social consequences. And instead they do a lot of different uh, things. I will show three examples of how uh, hackers sometimes resist technological progress and not just uh, it. That's why I started to uh, compare them with uh, two groups. Uh, first with the uh, Luddites, uh, which were machine makers in the beginning of capitalism. And uh, I'm also uh, developing a second line, um, comparing hackers to the Amish people who are a religious group who are using uh, only traditional technologies. So yeah, the subtitle is Hackers Against Technology. So I'm not really trying to make some general conclusions about everything that hackers do, or all the hackers. Uh, I was just looking for some specific um, practices that I thought uh, are politically interesting in the hacker scene. So yeah, the, the three groups, uh, the groups I already mentioned, and the Amish, and uh, Una Bomber was a famous guy, uh, Theodor Kaczynski, who sent some bombs uh, to some people who he thought are at the um, forefront of technological development, because he thought that uh, the consequences of the industrial civilization are disastrous for the human race. And uh, there, there are some very nice uh, books and films and documentaries. He also wrote a manifesto, which is called the Una Bomba Manifesto. And uh, you can see in the documentaries that some people that he bombed actually later saw that uh, um, they saw the point what he was trying to make with these bombs. So the one thing that I want to uh, say about the Lutites, because I don't have so much time, is that uh, they were not against all the technologies and they were not, not breaking everything. They were just breaking the new technologies that were introduced to make factories, because before they were living in cottages in the countryside, and uh, the work that they were doing was integrated with their whole life. And they had control over every part of the production process. And in the factories, uh, the idea was that uh, you are just doing one thing, one uh, aspect of the production, and all the other things you have no control about. And uh, I'm even trying to see how uh, nostalgia can be a political force, so, for example, um, how the current uh, ecosystem of web, web, web design and web development uh, is compared to the 1990s, where there was webmasters who, who were taking care of the server, installing Apache, uh, doing the design, uh, a lot of times it's in, uh, also in uh, Photoshop, because uh, GIMP uh, was really uh, starting at that time, and uh, they had control over all the aspects of the website. And nowadays, if you have a job as a web developer, you are either a site builder or a CSS uh, developer or a backend developer, and uh, you are just uh, one part in a big machine, basically. Uh, another interesting thing to look up about the Lutites is that uh, they were really good conspirators, and they were really into security technologies, and one of the most uh, hard problems for the authorities to fight against them was uh, that nobody talked from the Luddites. Basically, they, uh, they didn't uh, give up their comrades. 
uh, they didn't uh, talk to the authorities. And uh, at, at the final stage of the Luddite conflict, they had to put more soldiers to fight the Luddites than they put against uh, Napoleon. Put in a web address and read an article 
it's uh, so difficult for uh, uh, these people. And uh, um, I saw there must be very big reasons why they go, uh, they spend so much energy to break the internet for themselves and then uh, keep uh, talking about the problems of the internet for half an hour. So I was also thinking that just installing and using these technologies in the community is creating a lot of opportunity to uh, see in practice, but also to discuss with each other what are the problems of the internet. So uh, compared to the Luddites, I think it's a nice example of breaking machines, but because the technologies nowadays are layered on top of each other, uh, it means that in order to break something, some uh, technology, you have to get another technology. So it also means that uh, not using technologies can be a technologically very active and uh, very productive process. Because you have to uh, develop these technologies against other ones. So B2B is another uh, example. It is an IRC server uh, through which you can use uh, connect to other networks like uh, I think now Skype, uh, but I'm sure about uh, Twitter and uh, Google Talk and uh, <coughs> I think at some point we even had uh, um, support for uh, such uh, very legacy technologies like uh, Microsoft uh, Messenger and uh, ICQ, if you remember that. This is the logo. <laughs> so basically in this case, uh, hackers accept the status quo that uh, a lot of their friends are on uh, Facebook uh, and Google Talk and uh, Jabber and so on, but uh, they are not willing to give up the 1988 uh, um, social network, the internet relay chat, that is still working un uh, un until this uh, moment. And uh, they accept that other people use other things, but uh, they were to keep their old technologies compatible with the new ones and to preserve the good things that IRC gives to all of us. Well, this is an example. In Emacs. Yeah. <coughs> um, yeah. One of the interesting things I found, I have uh, another ongoing research on IRC and I think it's a really interesting case of the original social network that is operational since 1988 without, uh, without a pause. And uh, new generations of hackers, for example, people who built hacker spaces and people who did the uh, anonymous uh, hacker uh, group, uh, who never used the uh, IRC before, started to use it. And uh, now there are a lot of young uh, people also on the IRC. So it is not just uh, an old, uh, um, people's uh, technology. And uh, the servers are still operated by the community for the community without a business model behind it or without some sneaky tricks to, uh, to get money from the users. So uh, my conclusion is that uh, these technologies function as uh, time machines. Uh, time machines. Uh, time machines. So why time machines? Because basically we can uh, think about technological development as a, a tree with a lot of uh, different parts, different historical moments where uh, the technology could go this way or that way and uh, sometimes hackers think that it went the wrong way. So because of this you need to build uh, these technologies to go back to the point where the things went wrong. And if you can go back to that point and uh, kind of uh, uh, influence history there, then it can go other ways too. So I'm thinking about these uh, practices of using technologies or these uh, uh, technologies that are developed as ways to move in time to the thing, to the place where or to the time when the things went wrong, and to try to think uh, towards the future from from an older uh, moment. So, in terms of uh, resistance to uh, new technologies which have bad consequences, I think these uh, time machines uh, allow 
to move in time and to find uh, where the technological development uh, still had uh, good things to offer for society. And to go back to that point and to think uh, from that point. And it doesn't mean that everything that is old is uh, necessarily better, but it is questioning this uh, very modern, uh, very uh, fashionable, very trendy narrative that uh, each new technology is better than the one that uh, came, uh, that was before. And thanks, Christian. And the slides are online, so um, I will distribute them and put them in the chat of the uh, IRC channel of the Hackers. Any questions? You can talk to me, I will be here until the Okay. <laughs>